What's going on? We're in the Big Apple. Yes. Um, so, so, explain to So, everyone. we've been here since um, Saturday. It's an all-day event. Yep. Eight, ten hours travel all together, I think. And, uh, but it was worth it because I love them so much. And it's been a lot of fun. So, uh, mostly we've been doing campaigning and stuff, which is why we haven't made any videos. Because we do try to keep that off the blog. But, so now that that's over with, now we get to do some fun touristy things. That's right. So now Roger's been learning about the Statue of Liberty at school. And so we are privileged enough to be able to bring him to see it in person. So that's where we're headed today. Let's do it, man. So my friend John Joseph gave my kids ten dollars each, and they got a they got a hole burn, burning in their pockets right now, wanting to spend it. So we're going to gift shop, and yo, John Yonanda, we're going to we're going to report to you what he bought, and it's not candy, that's for sure. You know what really makes me upset? It's like when I look at it and it says. Where's it made? Large brass. Oh, this won't tell you where it's made. Oh. Everything's made in China, man. It's like disheartening. Everything's made in China. You know what the sad truth is? Going out to the outside vendors in New York City you're probably getting all American made, except for the t-shirt. But the screen printing t-shirts out there, you're prob those are probably made in America. Well, yeah. Yeah. Roger's buying his first, his first purchase. <laughs> you gotta wait yeah. for change. Whoa, dude. All right. So Ollie's next. Oh Was this everything? This is your That's it. A whole ten dollars. Yeah. <laughs> His first purchase. Her. He knows what's up. Hey, listen. We gotta get the coffee and the water. How do you say it, mom? <laughs> Those are my Italians right there. That was silent. The struggle is real. Mama, we just we just went through Ellis Island. It's overwhelming. Now, now we get to go to the American dream. Yeah, right. We are living the American dream. I know. We own a house and 50 acres and we grow our own food. Can't get no better than that. 
experience shaped America? And how has it changed over the past hundred years? We hope you will continue to think about these questions after you leave us.